You are listening to part 19 of the podcast series, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. The 19th law of the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership is the law of timing. And the law of timing says when to lead is as important as what to do and where to go. Now, I've already shared with you that of the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership, there are two laws that are tough to teach. There are two laws that are tough to learn. One was the law of intuition. This one, the law of timing, is the second difficult law to learn. The law of timing, the law of intuition, again, migrate to what we call natural leaders. They're the ones who have those leadership leanings that basically allows them to intuitively feel the subjective side, the artistic side of leadership that just kind of allow them to kind of sense their way through. And the law of timing is so essential to a leader's success. (laughs) That's like one of the great songs, one of the great songs. You got to know when to hold them. Got to know when to fold them. I I love the classics, don't you? Don't you, don't, don't, you love, don't, don't you love the classics? You, 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 got, you got to know when to walk away. Uh, I think uh, Sir Kenny Rogers did that one. <laughs> and he was basically saying that there is a, a sense of timing, there's a sense of intuitiveness that's going to determine your success or your failure. And I want to emphasize that in this law of timing. Many people have been successful in their leadership because they understood the law. Many people have been unsuccessful because they violated the law of timing. In your notes, let me share with you how this law of timing works. The wrong action at the wrong time equals disaster. We've seen that. Very simple. A leader makes a wrong decision. Wrong time, timing's wrong, decision's wrong, disaster. You got a titanic issue on your life. Now, the wrong action at the right time equals a mistake. Now you can see that already it's 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 better. It's still not good, but but if the timing was right, even though the action was wrong, it's not as disastrous. Now, the right action at the wrong time equals resistance. People are resistant. Even if it's the right thing to do, if your timing is wrong, you'll find that they're not accepting. You'll find that they're resisting you. Does that make sense? Finally, and this is where you all want to land because this is basically the law of timing. The law of timing is number four. The right action at the right time equals success. What I have found is the best leaders understand the double-edgedness of the sword, but they understand how to use it for the benefit of their organization. Because timing requires the following seven things. Number one, understanding. You have to be able to see the big picture. Number two is maturity. Very seldom are immature people good with timing. It's their immaturity that causes them to want to rush things. Three is confidence. I have found that, especially when you have to hold them, that you have to have confidence. You have to believe in yourself. Number four is decisiveness, the ability to make decisions quickly because here's what I found about timing. Timing doesn't wait. Timing doesn't say, it's a good time. I'll wait a while. No, it's in and it's out. Number five is experience. And the more successful experience you have under your belt, the better your timing is. And number six is intuitiveness. And intuitiveness and timing are first cousins. They always work together. And number seven is preparation. There's a lot to say about how preparation helps us with the law of timing. I think it was Abraham Lincoln who said, I will prepare and someday my time will come. 